What do you recommend for them? Um, how can they prepare um, to get the vaccine or booster if just if their fear of needles is what's kept them away from taking this very important step? I know. I, 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 I can give you an example of one patient that was for 21, 22 years old, very afraid of needles. But he buckled up and he came in, then tell me that he's afraid of needles. We gave him a shot. He got up, took three steps and actually fainted. He passed out. <laughs> and then he tells me, first I thought it was an allergic reaction. So I grabbed my EpiPen and I was about, about to give it to him. And he started slowly coming out of it, sweating a lot. And then he told me that he's afraid of taking uh, of meals. But he said, I have parents that are older. My grandparents are around me. So I decided I'm going to take it anyways. So when the when he came for the second shot, I knew that he was the way he was. So we just put him in a lazy bike under chair. I said, just relax, have, have a few sips of water, calm down, take some time. And then I gave it to him. He was fine. The second time he was okay. But it's just the first time that you have to kind of brave it out. Mm -hmm. and you know what's coming the second time. And these needles are 25 gauge. They're very thin needles. They're not like one of those... Um, 18 gauge or 19 gauge needles when you feel okay. that they're going in. This, this, the new needles that we have now, you don't even feel it.